Good morning and happy new year. And for me, it's a very good start to the new year as my dogs won big over Michigan last night. But it's also time to go home. We're leaving Alabama this morning, heading back to Georgia. So I'm riding over here to the car wash. We're going to run the truck through the car wash and clean her up a little bit, get loaded up, and headed back. Well, that didn't work out like I planned. They do open today, but not until after the time we plan on being on the road. So I guess I'll just head on back and we'll pack up the truck, drive on back to Georgia with dirt on our wheels. Alrighty, we are all packed up. We are headed back to Georgia. We're gonna take the slow route, the scenic route, and hopefully still stay ahead of the storm that's coming. We have to take this divided highway east for a few miles before turning left and heading up and over the mountains. First town we come to is Henniger with its one stoplight and McDonald's. Head on down the mountain and around to the big city of Valley Head, where we found something that we thought was really interesting. We saw this pretty house over here. Thought we'd come right past it. When we got here, we found this historical marker. Site of Cherokee Council Tree. Here stood the giant black Spanish oak under which traditionally Sequoia taught his newly invented alphabet. Tree fell by a storm in 1984. And this marker was erected by the Valley Head Women's Club. 19... 55? Oh, fell by a storm in 1934, not 84. 1934. Huh, that's pretty cool. Huh, babe? As many times as we've driven through this little town and we didn't know that that was there. And just like that, it was time to get back on the road and continue on our journey, riding through little towns such as Mentone, Menlo, and Somerville, before finally deciding to take a little pit stop just off I-85, catch a drink and a bathroom break before heading back on our way. Well, we just crossed over the interstate and stopped quick here at the QT for a bathroom break and to uh, get recharged with some QT a Rooster Booster, like a dollar twenty-nine for a whole bunch of energy drink. <laughs> and don't lecture me about I shouldn't drink it. It keeps me awake. Now, more back roads on the way home. Once we made it through Gainesville, we knew we were getting close. We just had a few more little small towns like Gillsville, Maysville, and then Commerce, where we would turn left and head out Highway 98 to the small town of Isla, and we were almost home. It 
was just after dark when we pulled into the yard and seeing the sight of that old farm all tractor was a welcome sight indeed. Thanks for riding along. We'll see y'all next time.